guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Reaction Slime Pit He-Man action figure from Super 7. So the reaction figures have been going on for quite some time now. Super 7's really been pumping out these vintage Kenner inspired Masters of the Universe action figures. Basically kind of doing the whole what if scenario. What if these guys were released in that vintage Star Wars style or you know other similar three and three quarter inch action figures rather than the bigger bulkier style we got our Masters of the Universe figures in. I've taken a look at a lot of these here before on the channel. This is one of the newer figures and man this one really caught my eye. I think for obvious reasons. Slime Pit He-Man. Holy cow. So if you're totally unaware, Slime Pit He-Man basically originates from the idea of the Slime Pit turning heroes into slime monsters or slime zombies. Um, and as you can see, we've got this great comic illustration right here on the back that comes from uh, one of the vintage Masters of the Universe comic stories where Hordak turns He-Man into a slime monster. So ever since this has been out, this has kind of been one of those characters that fans have always wanted to see as an action figure. There's been customs of them uh, over and over again over the years. And Super 7 here has given us our first official Slime Pit He-Man. Now there is a Masters of the Universe classic Slime Pit He-Man coming later this year as one of the PowerCon exclusives, but this reaction figure beats that to the market. So this right here is our first official Slime Pit He-Man action figure. And I gotta say, the artwork is amazing on this card back. That is one thing that Super 7 has done a killer job with on all of their Masters of the Universe reaction figures. The card art is awesome, but this one is extra cool because the entire card back has this green tint to it and then you've got this amazing artwork here of he-man covered in slime red eyes turned into a slime zombie or a slime monster and right there in our blister bubble a beautiful translucent green action figure this is just an amazing piece and it totally looks awesome in the packaging it would display beautifully like this uh, i can totally see why a lot of people would want to keep this in the box which is exactly why i bought two so let's get a closer look at the action figure that's within this box. All right, so we've got our Slime Pit He-Man outside of the packaging. As you can see, the figure stands just shy of a full four inches tall there. Um, and if you've never seen any of their reaction figures before, uh, these guys are nicely built. I mean, the plastic feels great, nice and solid. Articulation is very basic. You just got the head moving left and right, the arms moving up and down at the shoulders, and the legs moving up and down at the thighs. So very basic five points of articulation. Uh, but this one here is really great because he's just done in this awesome translucent green plastic, painted red eyes, the harness and the belts and the wrist bracers are in this like really shiny metallic silver color. And I just feel like the overall aesthetic of this, of this guy is brilliant. He's just so amazing. Um, I'll bring in just the original release reaction He-Man here and stand them side by side. So it does appear like they are probably the same sculpt. I'm trying to look at the details of the face to see if it's any different there, uh, but it looks like it's probably just the paint deco and the way that they're cast, but that way you can get a look at these two side by side there. And of course he does come with one accessory in the form of the power sword, which is also in like this kind of translucent lime green plastic there. The sword itself does appear to be uh, the same sword that came with that standard release there. So it's just a really great variant, but man, it's one of those variants that fans have always loved, one that I personally have always wanted, uh, and he's just a really cool display piece, uh, both in and out of the package, honestly. I mean, that packaging is beautiful, but um, let's have some fun with this guy, shall we? Uh, so this Hordak, by the way, this is this is also one of the new figures that was released in the same wave, and he's kind of amazing because you can do this, you can swap the arm. And oh, we got a cannon arm now. How about that? That's pretty cool. So there's a couple different ways we can display him. But there's a reason that I'm bringing Hordak in here because uh, why don't we recreate some scenery, huh? We'll bring in that vintage slime pit playset and pose these guys with them. Now, of course, these guys are gonna be a little small in comparison to that vintage uh, slime pit playset, which was designed for the 5.5 inch action figures. But I gotta tell you, he displays awfully well with the slime pit here. And if you've got some of that slime laying around, I mean, Pixel Dan 
doesn't usually need an excuse to play with slime, but boy, we've got a good excuse right here, don't we? <laughs> this is just a really fun figure, and there's not a whole lot else I can say about it, because it's a very basic five points of articulation vintage style action figure. And uh, I know it's not for everybody. It's kind of one of those things where you either like this style or you don't. But I got to say, this one here really does stand out to me. Uh, the packaging presentation is awesome. He's just a really fun action figure. And this one is currently still in stock at Super7.com along with the new guys like this Hordak back here. So hey, if this looks something look like something that you might want to add to your collection, if you've always been a fan of Slime Pit He-Man, pick it up. I I think you'll really enjoy this one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.